this is Dr. David Albert from the Digital Health Summit at CES 2019. And it is my privilege today to be interviewing Tony Shaheen, the CEO of Myant, which is a textile computing company. I'm going to let Tony tell me, what is textile computing? Essentially, textile computing is embedding sensors and actuator in everyday textile, making textile a medium to, as a new category for human computer interaction. Well, certainly, you know, we can think smart undershirts, smart underwear. What kinds of things are you showing or displaying here at CES? Yes, uh, we're, we, we focus a lot on um, uh, everyday textile acting as a medium between your entire body and the digital health. But we launched last year an underwear, an everyday underwear that has an ability to, uh, to measure your ECG passively, continuously. Uh, also measure your temperature, skin temperature, and have uh, uh, some uh, haptic feedback, like an accelerometer-based haptic feedback, as well as um, uh, inertia or, or biomechanic kind of data. So this underwear, it looks like any other underwear. The technology um, set is invisible. You can wash it, you can dry it, you change none of your habit, you just put it on. Uh, it's a dry electrode within literally three, four seconds you can see your ECG, your heart rate, and from that, uh, using our AI, we are looking at your sleep data, you're looking at your posture during the day, we're looking at your uh, uh, stress level, um, and, and, and the likes. Very interesting. So I gather that your goal is to make medical monitoring at home invisible. Absolutely, I say we would love to have a way for everyone to participate, and we do so by pushing this concept of consumerization of healthcare. We want to see healthcare available everywhere. Um, see, the advancement in big data is here. Uh, the challenge is how do you access it at the comfort of your home, anywhere and everywhere, and for anyone. Um, not only uh, in, in big cities, in small town where very few people now are living, especially different generations. So if someone elderly alone, uh, if someone who doesn't have an ability to, uh, to go to a clinic or to do a, uh, a check, a checkup, this medium allows for a, a medical grade um, diagnostic that allows for those things to be, to tell us in advance so we can prevent uh, things from manifesting into worse. I understand. So basically invisible telemedicine. Yes. And uh, th now do you find any interesting notions with regard to fashion? I mean, it, you can have any color as long as it's white, uh, or, you know, because sometimes people want different colors in their underwear. Yeah, well, we're fortunate that a lot of our, um, we have more than 10 fashion designers, so they hold us very, very accountable to make sure their say uh, is, is the law. So design is a very important balance. Together with engineering and, uh, and AI, those disciplines are at the table equally. Well, that's, that's very important. Uh, you know, it, it sounds wonderful to me as, as I sit here and deal with uh, patients and most of whom are, are you know, relatively older. Uh, you know, I think they're probably less concerned about the fashion than some of the younger people. But, but Tony, it sounds really interesting and I look forward to learning more. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Well, thank you so much. It's an honor to be interviewed by you. Thank you. Well, this is uh, Dr. David Albert at uh, the Digital Health Summit at CES 2019, hosted by Living in Digital Times. Tony Shaheen, thank you. Thank you.